Okay, I'm going to show you how I make a ruffled scarf. And I've done them several different ways, but this is the way I like best. Um, it's the quickest and easiest way for me. Um, I got this at, I think, Joann's. You can get it at Michael's, any craft store, this Starbella, and they have some fun, cute colors. Uh, to start out with, I like to grab the center from in the middle of these. I like to pull them out from the middle. Then I take, and this is what it looks like when it is spread out. I just take it and kind of spread it out a little bit. And the very first part of this is the hardest of the whole thing. If you get past this first part, this first little step, it's so easy and you do not need to know how to crochet. So what I do is I take the loops and I fold them in half. And then I just take the top loops. You always work with just the top loops and I get them together. Here's my fold. So I'm going to get those top loops together. There we go. See? And right here. So I've folded it in half and I've got the loops together. So here's my fold and I take a crochet hook. I stick it in that first one then I go, th but it's doubled, so there's two, but it's just through the one. Then I go in through the next one, and it's always the top row. And then I go through the next one. So I'm out of double ones now. There, I've gone through three. So I'm just going to continue to go through the single loops. So I go four, just the top row, five, six, seven, Eight. Okay, I've gone through eight now. And I take it, and that first loop, if you can see that, I'm going to just take that first one and I'm going to pull it through the rest. There I go, I just pulled it through the rest. That is the hardest part of the whole scarf. The rest is just simple now. Okay, so now that I've done that, we're just going to go through single loops and like I said we're just going through the top ones but this time you're gonna skip so I'm gonna skip this loop and I'm gonna go in the next one one and I'm gonna skip a loop skip this one go in two I'm gonna skip right here skip that one three skip oops Skip this one, go in four, skip five, skip six, skip seven, then skip and eight. Now, if you want a fuller scarf, you can go ten. Go through ten loops instead of the eight if you want a really full scarf. Then you're going to do the same thing. You've got your loops. You just take that first one and you're going to just pull it through the rest of them like that. Okay, I'm going to do it again now. That's all you do the rest of the whole way is go through eight and pull it through. Okay, remember, you skip that first loop. You're going to go one. You're going to skip two. Skip three, and you get it'll get you'll get quicker at this. Skip, go in the fourth one, and you're always in that top row. Skip five, skip six, skip right here seven, skip eight. So you've gone in the eight, same thing. Pull that first one down through all of them. Okay, I'll do it one more time. So you can already see your ruffle start to form. That's all you do the whole way through. It's so fun and easy. Okay, skip this one, then go in one. You're working with the top row. Skip two, skip three, skip four, skip five, skip six, skip it, seven, 
and skip it. Eight. Got them on there. Take that first one and pull it through. See my ruffle? Do it one more time. I know I said one more time last time, but I'll do it one more time again. Here we go. It starts twisting, so just untwist it before you get going. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, remember we're going to skip the first loop. And it's just the top row you're working with. So I skip that one and I go one. Skip two. Skip three. Skip this one. Four. Skip five. Skip this one, six, skip, seven, skip this one, and eight. Again, if you want a fuller scarf, go ten loops. Here we go, we take that first one. And we're just going to pull it through the rest. And that, a, pr a pretty ruffle's formed. Um, I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to finish the scarf. And then I will come back and I will show you how to tie off the end, which is very simple.